What's good in the whole YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing another video. Today I'm bringing you a video on Kamen Rider Build episode 46. This episode is called An Oath to Be the One. Uh, and this episode overall was really, really good. Uh, keep in mind though, we're getting towards the very end of the season. And uh, overall, this episode really was awesome. It had some amazing cinematics to it, especially towards the beginning. And even like at certain points in the episode overall really felt epic and intense and um i felt like the film quality was a bit uh, higher um something i noticed especially with the intro um well not the intro but like the beginning parts of the episode let's just say that much which i think has to do with the fact that i think it's supposed to connect to the roadshow movie that's coming out um very soon originally the roadshow movie was planned for next week and that they would skip releasing the next episode of build till the 12th so they would uh not release an episode next week for the movie would come out and then following that the episode would come out on the 12th what i'm hearing is that apparently since there's a typhoon happening in japan they're actually going to cancel the road show for that week and move it a week later so i'm wondering if they're going to actually release uh build episode 47 next week and then do the road show the week after we'll have to wait and see of course but i don't know anything for a fact so just keep it in mind um i don't know if we're gonna have no episode next week or if we are because we may actually have an episode um if they decide to rearrange the order since they're not making people get out of their homes in this case um, you know a show would make sense a new episode for the show again it could be that they don't do anything either we'll have to wait and see though so anyway moving on um, the episode overall was really cool it starts off of us seeing this whole introduction with uh, Ivalto as the Saito Prime Minister um, Basically, what happens is is that he's telling the people about how, you know, the country was split into three different areas after the Skywall incident, and eventually Hokuto and Saito formed a united nation, then they wanted to bring them all together, but then what ends up happening is is that eventually Evolto reveals his true identity to the world, and basically what he says is, I am Evolto, I am here to actually assimilate your planet into my being to absorb all the energy from the universe and from you and make it part of me and so that's a big big component of of his speech and he basically says that he's going to destroy the earth in that way but because he's lived on the earth for 10 years he makes this deal that if the comrades come with a lost bottle that they have then maybe he won't destroy the entire earth so that's basically his plan he plans to basically create a a way to torture them and you know put everything on the line where if they defeat him in in a final battle then maybe he won't completely destroy the earth but if they don't then um if they don't then uh what happens is is that the earth will be completely destroyed so what does end up happening is is that from here we end up seeing that the uh that building uh, that um everyone that's in the base that they have for sent home the others um sees all this they're hearing the news report and what ends up happening is is that um we end up seeing this whole sequence where they have the pandora's box opened up where like there's all the the five panels except for the top um out there so you know it's the the four on the sides and then the one on the bottom and what happens is is that sento ends up um putting in the hazard trigger into it and the thing that allows the hazard trigger to function in the way it needs to is because of uh, ryoga having evolto's dna and what happens is is that they managed to actually create because i think ryoga might have put it in um they managed to create a special panel which is the white panel we've heard about this panel before but we actually get to see it being formed because of the hazard trigger um creating it because we learned about that in the previous episode um that that was its other functionality to create it so what does end up happening is is that um the others learn from sento about the difference between the white panel and the, and the black panel basically explaining the fact that how um the white panel um is meant to exist to show a more pure different universe uh as we know that there are alternate universes that um the black panel was to um 
allow Evaldo to travel to and, you know, completely assimilate everything. And so what happens is, is that they end up learning that they need to get all the lost bottles in order, and also the black panel in order for them to take the two panels and create an alternate uh, universe that's completely separate from their own. Um, in other words, there's the one where Evolto takes over and the Skywall incident happens. There's one where the Skywall incident never happens, but they need to create because what will happen is is that it will is that those two worlds will be completely separate, but because they're parallel universes, what will happen? Is, I mean, p parallel worlds. Um, what will happen is is that they'll create a third scenario where they end up going to one of the ones where it doesn't exist, but they have their memories. Uh, rather than just it not happening, they still have the memories of it, uh, of the Skywall incident, but at the same time, um, it's a little different. So what ends up happening is, is that, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, so what they need to do is get the, the black panel um, so that they can use it with the white panel. Um, and get the lost bottles so that they have them in, in the two sets in order to create this alternate one and create this new world. That was basically his father's plan, or at least that's what they're thinking of so far. Again, it's not exactly clear, but that's one um, idea that they're kind of questioning. And it's brought up later on that there, that maybe there's more to it than just that. Now, what does end up happening is is that um, they know all this. They know that they have to get the, um, the lost bottles and the uh, black panel. Um, what does end up happening is, is that, um, once they get the, is that, um, they end up deciding to have a cookout, uh, because they realize they have to do something to just eat up time. Um, but in the meantime, prior to that, what actually does end up happening is, is that Senso's doing work. He's questioning everything. He's considering like, is this really what, um, his father's plan was? And the thing was, is that he even asked uh, Katsuragi if he believes this, and Katsuragi also questions this. So what does end up happening as well is that Ryoga, reala not Ryoga, uh, Kazumi realizes that he's not going to be strong enough in this fight, um, and he needs a power-up. He even asked Sento for it, and what happens is, is that he's like, I know this is short notice, but I, uh, it would be really nice if you could give me some sort of power-up. And the thing is, is that eventually Sento pulls out the uh, blizzard knuckle, and the reason... Well, and the thing that's important to remember is, you know, uh, Ryoga has used it in the past and he thought, wait, isn't this Ryoga's? The thing is, is that it actually was meant to be Kazumi's in the first place. But the only reason why he didn't get it was because of the fact that when he went to um, go and gain increased hazard level from going in the purification chambers um, when he went to Faust um, with uh, Gentaku, when he did that... Uh, he there was no time like he just ran off so in other words had he not run off he would have had it sooner but what happens is that he gets this and he learns a very important factor well first of all he has no um build driver but what allows him to actually get it in the end is the fact that they actually give him um what we assume to be Sento's father's build driver um and what happens is is that um, he knows the only way that he's going to be able to use it um, is with that driver because the knuckle is not supposed to be compatible with the Slash driver, which is what Grease uses. Um, so it, so what, that's very important to consider. He gets this build driver, but at the same time he knows this from Sento. If he uses it, he'll likely die. If he ever uses the knuckle inside of the build driver, he'll die from its use just because of how much power he'll be inserting into himself and the risks are extremely high that he would likely be destroyed just by using it. So that's a very important factor to consider. He basically, Sento basically tells Kazumi the best solution, don't use it as a, as a means to transform, only use it um, as a weapon. So, you know, use it as the knuckle. Don't use it as an actual transformation device. Um, but what ends up happening is, is that eventually um, Sento and the others do go and have a cookout. It's kind of a fun experience. We see them, you know, enjoying themselves. There's this funny moment with Kazumi and this towel that actually turns out to be Gentaku's, but it's a towel that has the print for Mitten. So what happens is, is that, was well, a towel that has the print of like the rabbit character that's related to Mitten. So the thing is, is that basically they're expecting that, um, you know, he, she, he, he hopes it's, 
mittens towel, but it turns out to be Gensaku's, and he actually loves, like, feeling it on his skin, and he thinks, oh, it feels so nice, and he thinks it's it's her skin that, he, that he's feeling, when in reality, it's actually, like, Gensaku's, so it's really this funny moment that turns out kind of weird, and there's just this weird exchange between his, like, his, you know, his conscious, where he's seeing, like, his dark half and his, um, good half, where, like, the one that, that says, you should never use this towel and the other half that's basically saying oh you should do whatever you want you know what i mean and it's just this funny moment um so that all happens there's even a conversation that occurs between ryoga and sento which we it gets cut off where he basically wants to explain something important to him we don't know the details right now but that is important to consider um what does end up happening though from here is that we end up seeing that sento and the others arrive arrive after um, several news reports are watching the scene for the common riders to fight Evolto. And what happens is, is that eventually a helicopter flies in and is smashed to bits by Evolto, um, and then everyone flees. But then at that point, Sento and the others arrive on the scene and they all stand, um, stand with each other, you know, a good distance apart so they can transform, of course. And what happens is, is that Evolto asks if they have the lost bottle. They say that they do. And what happens is, is that they show it even. And then at that point, what happens is, is that, um, the, um, what do you call it? I'm just trying to think. They all transform. We also see that there's a huge army of guardians. And after they transform, Evolto basically says, Every 10 minutes, I am going to destroy a part of this country. So make sure that you... So the best solution is that you need to get to the top of the Pandora's Tower before I completely destroy the country. Uh, if that doesn't happen, you lose and the whole country is destroyed. Uh, and, and also, eventually, the whole planet will be destroyed. So what does end up happening is, is that following this... Um, what do you call it? Um... Evolto teleports up to the top of the Pandora's Tower. Um, what we do end up seeing is that in the meantime, um, Sento ends up, uh, well, Sento and the others end up doing a major attack which actually destroys um, all the Guardians in one go. Like, they each do a big attack at once and it just, all of them are gone. So basically, that, at that point, they head in. As they head in, they're met by three clones of the um, the Hokuto trio. So what actually happens is, is that, um, what do you call it? Uh, Kazumi ends up fighting the trio, uh, but he knows that they're not real. In fact, that's something that's also proven when Evolto says, I'm glad that you figured that out. And he says that, yes, I made them from my DNA. That's how they were created. So that's an important thing to consider. Uh, initially, they're shown in their human forms, but they do transform into their smash forms, their hard smash forms specifically. And um, he ends up fighting them. He does use the Blizzard Knuckle Bunch. Um, what we do end up seeing is, is that in the meantime, Evolto is watching all this. Eventually, after 10 minutes, he does end up um, unleashing the um, another black hole, uh, sucking up another part of the country. And what also ends up happening is, is that, um, what do you call it? We end up seeing that Mazora is looking for the bill driver for Santo's father, and then they end up getting a call from a ghost, which is, uh, I believe, Namba, which was very interesting to see. Um, what we do end up also knowing is, is that, um, I'm trying to think right now. If you're curious, the bottle that's for the Blizzard uh, knuckle, I forgot to mention this already, is meant to uh, be based around the power from the, the Hokuto Trio. That's something that's actually kind of interesting to know. I forgot to mention it already, but yes, that's what it is. Um, anyway, what does end up happening is, is that eventually uh, Kazumi ends up realizing he's not going to be able to beat the trio in his current um, state, and he ends up, you know, recalling all of his memories of how the trio died and you know the feelings he had when he saw his comrades um die and he completely destroyed and the pain he felt inside and the thing is that the trio since they're just clones and copies they treat him with such nasty remarks not very kind and um you know they even beat him up a bunch and what does end up happening is that eventually he ends up smashing his head into the ground. His skull starts, to, like his head starts to bleed from from his from uh, his forehead, and um, 
what happens is is that eventually he decides to pull out the bill driver that he has and puts in the special blizzard bottle that he had um, into the blizzard knuckle and inserts it into the bill driver. At that point, he ends up taking the form of Grease Blizzard, which is this really awesome power-up for him. It's great to know that he actually does get a power-up for him. That's something that people weren't sure whether or not he would. And then people were hearing about it fairly recently that there was going to be something, but they announced it so, so late that it's just pretty amazing to think that that most people didn't know till like about this week pretty much um so it's very cool to see this for him we do see the whole entire like you know perspective shots of like the the driver and you know different parts of the body and then we actually get to see him and we see this whole entire like um like like uh like the frost in the air and everything like that and just see how he looks he has a very cool um knuckle that we end up seeing as his weapon and just in general he just looks really really cool he keeps a lot of his um appearance the same like more so than say um ryoga does when he uses magma because like magma you still see a lot of what uh cross z was but it's it still stands out enough to the point that it feels like it's it has its own look to it this one keeps a lot stays a lot more true to the original design of Grease, but it expands on it in some places which is kind of cool um especially with the weaponry that's the part that especially changes um so yeah it's very interesting and that makes sense also because of the fact that um he's using the build driver he's not using the glass driver if he was using the glass driver he would have the twin breakers or something like that uh, but the fact that he's using a build driver whose weapons obviously would change so that's something to note um otherwise we do end up seeing that the other riders do end up wanting to go back and help him but um they don't at least not right away um as far as things go otherwise we do see the preview the preview looks like we are going to see him um fighting using the blizzard knuckle um in his new uh grease blizzard form and there's gonna be a point where he could potentially end up dying he's detransformed and all that and Mizora is crying and really upset and worried that he'll yeah die pretty much as far as whether or not that will happen we don't know but it is an interesting thing to consider um as far as things go otherwise we will have to see where things will go from here and i'm definitely looking forward to seeing where the story will continue to again there are three more episodes after this for common rider build and for those who don't know common rider zeo will be the next season common rider zeo is a season that's actually going to be very similar to common rider decade with using past riders uh, forms but um they're different than how decade did it where decade uh kept things pretty consistent with how they actually functioned in their season in this case it's sort of like they keep them consistent but at the same time they focus on specific things for them and by that i mean like their specific abilities a little bit more so it's hard to explain what i mean but um i'll talk about it at, at another point um please remember to like comment subscribe i love to know your opinions about this episode and um fairly shortly i do expect to have the episode of lupin ranger versus power ranger up for episode 25 um i hope to see you guys in the next video so until then guys i'm crazy samurai 71 and goodbye guys